Greetings, Hearthstoners. Today we're going to be playing a Divine Aggro Paladin deck. Um, it's on Hearthpone right now, and I'll put a link to the deck list in the description of this video. I've played a couple games with it, and it has a little bit of a learning curve, especially if you're used to playing like Cthune or Aggro, or like Cthune or um, any other control mid range decks. It's kind of. Um, It's an odd deck. It's an odd deck. What you want to do is uh, mulligan for your one two drop minions. You're always going to be looking for the uh, Steward of Darkshire. The big combo is Steward of Darkshire and then next um, Steward of Darkshire turn three and you got to keep it alive till turn five where you can play there we go, Stand Against Darkness. Um, I'm gonna save that. I wanna save this for uh, if he drops Tunnel Trug or something like that, or this. So we can do something cool like this. Hopefully this stays alive, but I doubt it. Yeah. Let's see, you can drop another lightning storm. Okay. So we're gonna get a little tricky. A little tricksy. Okay, that's good. That kind of worked out. We got some good draws. That's probably the best best case scenario with that deck. Druids are typically a problem. Um, they drop a lot of taunts and with their ramp they can kind of stay ahead of us. But we're looking for our one and two drops. Alright. I don't want to overvalue this this uh, plus one plus one effect because we can hold on to it all game and there's no guarantee that we'll actually get a chance to pump anything out. Okay.
else. They both thought so. save this until we absolutely need it like if he drops a fat taunt like a twin emperor this turn we're gonna need to kill them yeah so that against this. Swipe doesn't really take care of one of these. Okay, he doesn't have anything. Okay. So it's two for two. Pretty good. probably do one more game just to keep this video nice and short. I've made some longer videos and I don't think anybody's spending like 30 minutes or has 30 minutes or an hour to spend watching YouTube videos. So just a brief overview of how the deck plays out around mid-range ranks 10 and 9. That's good. If he's got swipe, okay, he doesn't have swipe, that's good. Probably should have uh, pumped this up. Just to get the divine shield going. I gotta think before I make plays. That's my one downfall is I don't properly talk stuff out, but I'm trying to get better at it. Looking for that swipe. He ain't got no swipe. Nothing 
Justice. Saves me two damage to the face, which I will need later if this goes to mid to late game. Alright. Cards, RN Jesus, are you listening? Divine favor, please. Divine por favor. <laughs> That's good. Actually, I should say that. Save that for a bigger minion. If I get, uh, what's it called? Blessing of Kings or. Seal of Champions? Oh wow. There's no way I'm going to deal with that. Ah. Druids? I knew this was going to happen. Um, yellow Consecrate? That's the end of this video. Uh, this deck does have problems with uh, Cthulhu Druid if they get a good draw and we get a mediocre draw, but I guess that's the case with most decks. It comes down to the RNG of the, the draw and your mulligans. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the deck. It's pretty decent against most things. Um, Monkfoot out.